What's going on, DMG Clan? Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to hack your PS4 with this little guy right here and this little guy right here. If you're on versions 11 or below, well, versions 9 to 11, that is. So let's level up our hacking knowledge even more because I have some more to tell you about these three little guys that I'm giving away in store. That's right, mobile gamers. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to hack your PS4 between nine and 11. No, this doesn't work for anything above 11 right now, at least. I don't know if it's going to. Um, yeah, this little tool right here, I did a video about it last week and shared with you guys how it works with my other PS4, which is version 11. The one that I have here on the table right now is version 10.01. So we're gonna hack this. Now this little dongle only comes with 11 pre-installed. So if you just wanna upgrade to version 11, there's videos on how to do that. So if you're on 9, 9.6, 10, or 10.01, then this is going to be a guide for you. Now you do need a computer for this. You do need a computer regardless for uh, basically getting, well, you don't really need a computer. You can do everything on your PS4 for getting the firmware and stuff and updating it to the latest firmware. But for this, you do need a computer because it requires a special program to actually flash this little adapter right here. So this little adapter is basically the main tool that flashes everything. This little USB stick is only needed once for the very first time that you hack your PS4. And it's basically not useful anymore after that, but you still need this little thing, which I'm going to explain, which is the basically the Ethernet uh, connection to actually rehack it if you turn off your PS4 completely. Now, I only put my PS4 in rest mode, so this is only going to affect those that lose power one day or if you turn off your PS4 or whatever else you do to your PS4 to like unplug it or something to move it, whatever, then you'll need this thing again if you want to use the hack. So again, we do need a computer. I am also... And I mentioned this in my last video, giving away three of them. I got three extra ones to give away to one of you guys on the channel. How the giveaway is going to work. I'm going to be going live on Friday, August 23rd at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When I do my giveaways, I like to go live for a couple hours, hang out and just play games. I might play on the PS4. I might play on the Odin 2. I don't know yet. I haven't decided that. I'll decide that day. And then we will go from there. I might just play on the PS4 and show you guys what you could do with the PS4 afterwards and stuff like that. But we'll decide on that day. And again, if you can't make it to the live and you missed out, jump into the live later. It'll be up on the channel. You'll be able to watch it. I will announce the three winners. You need to contact me via email. These are going to be shipped out via just an oversized bubble mailer. They won't be tracked or anything. They'll be shipped out and sent a picture off to you and everything so that you know that they got shipped out to your address for those that won. And if you want tracking, then we'll talk about the tracking of that as well, depending on your location. So how I do giveaways again, that is how I do them. If you're new to the channel, I've done giveaways in the past, just giving things away to people for no extra cost or anything to you. Now, again, if you're new to the channel, I do have membership tiers and for thanks, I do give extra bonus entries to all my members. All my members are basically five, 10 and 15 extra entries for each tier. So if you're a base member, you get five. If you're a, ma or a gamer, you get 10. And then if you're a master member, you get 15. Now, if you've been a member for three months or more, those numbers double. And I do do a lot of giveaways on this channel just because I like to give things away sometimes. And I have other things that I'm giving away still right now. 25,000 subscribers. I have a giveaway I'm gonna announce and other stuff as well like this this is the special edition odin 2 that i did a few months back that has the secure retro modding playstation edition buttons on it and i've announced this go check out the playstation playlist if you want a chance to win this all you have to do is comment on the video certain things there's certain videos you have to comment in that playstation series which i'm showing you guys how to set up the PlayStation on your emulation device, for example, and other consoles. So if you wanna go check that playlist out, go watch the very first video to get a better understanding about that. Let's jump into this guide. I know this little introduction was long, but I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade the little dongle adapter right here, and then 
be able to use it on versions lower than 11.00. Oh, and I forgot, if you made it this far into the video and actually watched the first five minutes of the video, if you comment on this video, you will gain an extra entry for Friday's giveaway. But you have to comment before Friday. So today or tomorrow, because I'm not gathering entries after Wednesday or Thursday. Because it's a lot of work. All right, mobile gamers. So the very first thing we need, of course, is a PlayStation 4. So you need a PlayStation 4 and you do need a P4 tool. You can buy the P4 tool now over on AliExpress. I'll put a link in the description below. I guess they sell them on Wish as well. So I went over to their website and if you go all the way to the bottom of the homepage, which I think is right here. No, maybe it's in the downloads update section. Yes, it is. It's in the downloads update section. I guess you can buy it on Wish as well. These are their main distributors as of today. And AliExpress, it's like $28 Canadian. So whatever that converts to in your currency, then that is how much it is. So if it's cheaper for you, great. Now, again, I'm giving away three of these to you guys. So maybe you'll have an option to just get it for free. So that all being said, we are going to download this program right here, which is called SSH MOBA X term. I already have it downloaded just for saving time. So if I go to my downloads, it's right here and we're going to right click on it and extract it. So go like that, extract all and extract it into your downloads directory. Don't do anything else just yet. Now we're going to grab our little uh, dongle adapter, our ethernet adapter right here. We don't need to grab this. I'm just going to let you know that we're going to be plugging this into the PS4 in a few moments, but we need to grab this and plug it into the computer. And you're just going to plug it into the good old ethernet port on the back of your computer. And the next thing you need to do is also plug in a USB connection, USB-C connection. So this actually comes with a USB-C cord. So if your USB-C cord isn't long enough, you can use something else. Now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing as just using a longer USB-C cord because mine isn't long enough, but it doesn't matter which one you have. It's just to supply power to this so that your computer will actually recognize it. Now that that's plugged into our computer, we're going to go to our control panel. So just type in control panel or just search for it in your search recent activity. And then you're going to look for network and internet. You're going to go over to network and sharing center. You're going to go to change adapter settings. Then you're going to look for remote NDIS based internet sharing. Now, if you don't see this here, just try to unplug it and plug it back in. Make sure that the little light on the actual ethernet dongle is flashing and then click on it, right click it. Click properties. Now go down to where it says internet protocol version four, TCP IPv4. Click on that, make sure it's highlighted, click on properties, and then make sure that your properties are set to what I have mine set to right here. Mine are set to use the following IP address. So by default, it's just gonna have a checkbox for attain an IP address automatically. But make sure you check this box right here and then type in 172.32.0.100 and then click the tab button on your keyboard and then your subnet mask will automatically switch over to 255.0.0. So click okay once you're done doing that, click close, exit out of this, exit out of this, and we're ready to double check things on our actual PS4 so that when we are ready to actually plug this in and hack it, then we can do so quite easily because it is pretty easy. So over on your PS4, you're gonna go over to your settings. You're gonna go over to your network settings. You're going to go to connect to internet make sure that that's checked off. Now set up internet connection. We're not going to do anything in here just yet. We're just going to just get that pre ready to go. And then for our actual settings, we're going to go down to system, check your system information, make sure that you are actually on 10.01 or 9.6 or nine, as this does work for all of these versions. So nine, 9.6, 10.00 and 10.01. So just double check that automatic downloads we're going to make sure we turn off all of these so turn automatic downloads off system software update files turn that off and application update files turn that off as well and that is about it for the ps4 right now so let's go back out go back out again and then let's jump back over to our computer now back on to our computer we're going to go back to our downloads folder and we're going to double click this file folder and we're going to open up MOBA X term personal 22.0 EXE. So double click on that. Now you're going to click on session in the top left hand side. Click on SSH on the top left hand side. 
Now for remote host, remote host is gonna be the following. So type in 172.32.0.93. Now for specify username, you're gonna type in R-O-O-T, so root, and you're gonna click okay. At the bottom, make sure port 22 is active. Next for the password, you're gonna type in luck box, all lowercase, so L-U-C-K-F-O-X. Now, you won't be able to see this on screen because they have it hidden. So press enter once you've done that. Click no, and then you'll be presented with the following. So now you're gonna actually navigate to the description of this video and copy and paste the CD command that I'm gonna be showing you here in a second. So copy the CD PPPWN luckbox command and paste it right in here. So right click on that little section, a little dialog window is gonna pop up, show context metal menu or paste. So click on paste, click okay. And now it's going to show you what I just copy and pasted right here. Now that is in the link in the description below as well. And you're gonna click okay. Now, once you've actually pasted all that inside of here, you're gonna press enter and it's gonna give you the options to select what firmware you're currently on. So my firmware is 10.01. So I'm gonna enter D and press enter. I'm gonna press Y, press enter because this is correct. It actually asks you if you've selected the right firmware. So double check that. And then you're going to select no because you don't want this to shut down after you jailbreak it. And then you're going to select A. Now, if you have issues with A, then you can change it to B, which is for PPPOs or IV, IPv6 instead. So if you have issues with IPv4 connecting to your PS4, then select B if this doesn't work for you the first time, but mine does. So A, enter Y to make sure that all the settings are correct. And then the device has been flashed. So it's ready to be plugged into our PS4 and we're ready to actually jailbreak it. So let's close out of MOBA X term, click yes, and exit down your file folder. Now I'm going to unplug this from my computer. So this is unplugged from my computer. I'm gonna move all this stuff around. I'm going to unplug my USB cord from my PS4 controller because I don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to prop my PS4 up onto something because this little dongle kind of just hangs out the back. I could just stand this up sideways if I wanted to, which is probably what I'm going to do for the sake of this video so you guys can see everything going on on the bottom right hand side of the screen at least. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my USB-C to USB-A cord into the front. So I'm gonna plug it into this port on this side. And then I'm going to plug in my USB stick into the front as well, just like so. Then you're gonna power this on and then plug it into the back of your PS4. So plug it into the ethernet port on the back. Now it's uh, there's a little light flashing there. So it's trying to do stuff right now, but we can't do anything because we haven't set up our internet connection. As you can see, it says LAN cable not connected. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna go to our settings. We're gonna go to network. We're gonna go to set up internet connection, use LAN cable, go down to custom, go down to PPPoE. Now in here, we're gonna just select G, press R2 for done, go down to password, G, R2 for done, and click next, automatic, automatic, do not use, and then we're gonna do test internet connection. Now the IP address has been obtained successfully. Connection has failed, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go back again, we're gonna go back again, and you're just gonna wait. Sometimes this takes up to two minutes, sometimes it takes up to a minute, just wait for it to do its thing. It's trying to push this payload onto the PS4 now for it to jailbreak it. So if it continuously does what it's been doing right now, so sometimes it doesn't actually push it properly right away after you've done the initial setup, what you can do, wait for it to push again, like it's going to right now. It's gonna say, cannot connect to network, and then unplug the USB from the actual ethernet adapter itself. Make sure it's pushed in there nicely because sometimes that happens as well. And then plug the power back in because it's gonna say LAN not connected, so that's fine. 
Now plug the power back into that and then wait for it to do its thing as it'll automatically try to push that hack or that jailbreak back onto the PS4 at this point. And there we go see what i mean so i've messed around with that before and that is basically how i've got it to work the very first time every time basically plug in the ethernet port first and then plug in the power and now that it's actually pushed we can actually just take the power right off of this wait for it to say land not connected again and then you can unplug the power from the actual ethernet adapter and you can just leave that plugged into the back if you want to and put this USB cord somewhere if you'd like. And then unplug this. You don't need this plugged in anymore. The only next thing you need to do is go to your settings, go to your gold hen settings, and then you're going to go down to where it says settings and make sure that enable rest mode support is turned on if you want to just put your PS4 into rest mode because you can hold down the power button on your PS4, go to power and then enter rest mode and it'll always stay hacked. Now, if you turn off your PS4, I showed this in my last video, then you would have to basically turn it on, plug the USB cord back in, wait for it to push that payload back onto the PS4 and do its thing. The next thing you need to do is just grab your USB stick of choice. Mine is already loaded with the HB store and a game that I backed up, which is Fallout 4 and plug it into your PS4. Now my PS4, I have to plug it into this port because I have to break the top to actually fit it. And then I can go to Gold Hen. I can go to Debug Settings. I can go to Package Installer and there's all my packages right there. There's my backup of my Minecraft game that I got and my store, which is my HB store. So this is the homebrew store that you can get things like emulation and all that kind of stuff. And if you want me to do a video about that, I can otherwise Modded Warfare does a really good job at that stuff as well. And as you can see here, this is the homebrew store ready to go. How do you connect to the internet after to get to the homebrew store? Well, you just go to your network settings again, and then you go to, for now, if you wanna use not ethernet, you would just go to set up internet connection, go Wi-Fi, which is what I'm gonna do, and then connect to your Wi-Fi network and navigate through the store. That's about it, guys. Don't forget, this Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm giving away three of these to one of you guys. One address per winner, obviously. So if you have three different YouTube accounts and you've won, then on all three for whatever reason, then I'm going to be moving on to the next person that won that day. How I'm going to do the giveaway, I use random.org. I generate all your comments based off of the video from last week. And that was the video about the, the P4 tool. Don't forget to go check out AliExpress if you just wanna buy one, you don't wanna wait for the giveaway. See you Friday, hopefully, because I can't wait to see who wins this. This is the coolest little adapter or dongle P4 tool that they call it that. Have a nice day, guys. See you next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.